Hi, I'm Dr. Sandra Adams and I'm a lung doctor. In this series of videos, I'd like to talk with you about some practical tips to help you or someone you love stop smoking. First of all, it's a proven fact that for many people, stopping smoking is one of the most difficult, if not the most difficult thing to do, but it is possible. We're going to talk about a series of tips to help if you're ready to get serious about trying to kick the habit and you really want to stop. Tip number five, setting a quit date and improving chances of successfully quitting. Once you've done all that you can do to get ready to quit smoking by completing the tasks in tips number four, collect your cigarette butts in a glass jar with a lid for the last week or so that you smoke. I'll tell you why a little later. Make sure you have all of your support systems in place, like number one, having the support of the 1-800-QUIT-NOW helpline, number two, getting with a smoking cessation group or an individual counselor, Number three, working with your healthcare professional to get all of the medicines that may help you. And number four, tell everyone your plans to quit. Then set a quit date that everyone knows to help support you in this difficult time. The night before your official quit date, you should get rid of all the ashtrays in the house. I want you to put water in the jar with the cigarette butts, clean the ashtrays in the car if you hadn't already done this, and of course, get rid of all the cigarettes. Don't just put the ashtrays away. Please give them away to charity or throw them out so that if you do start smoking again, you have to go buy all new ashtrays and new cigarettes. When your quit date arrives, keep your list with you about what you can do instead of smoking. Take advantage of your support system. And when you really get that urge to smoke, take out that jar of old cigarette butts and water open it and smell it. This jar smells so badly when it is opened that many people lose their urge to smoke. That's why you have that. Just try it. If it doesn't work for you, then that's okay. Basically, everything I'm telling you in these videos are just suggestions and tips that I've collected from friends, families, and patients over the years.